One morning, Tramp wakes up hungry, wandering and seeking food in the streets. As he passes by a man sitting on a bench, the sandwich in the man's hand instantly grabs his attention. He walks behind the bench and gently blows a whispering breeze into the woman's ear. The next second, the woman mistakes the man for a pervert and starts hitting him with her book. In an instant, Tramp easily snatches the sandwich right away from the man. He then rushes to a bush to enjoy the stolen food alone. But upon seeing two vulnerable stray puppies, Tramp generally drops it for them and leaves to look for more food. However, as he steps into the main street, he sees the dog catcher, a chubby man who Tramp hates the most. The man has been spending his entire life hoping to catch Tramp, but in whatever situation, Tramp always finds a way to escape. Just then, as Tramp plans to leave, he looks up and sees two of his stray kin already caught in the carriage. The dogs tell him that they've just robbed a butcher shop but were accidentally caught on the spot. Despite not liking the two other dogs, Tramp still decides to help them out. Seeing the dog catcher coming back to the carriage, he suddenly steps back and lies on the ground, pretending to be injured and unable to walk. The man approaches, notices the dog he's been dreaming of catching and becomes thrilled. Tramp innocently turns his head and continues lying weakly and whimpering on the ground. The dog catcher excitedly picks him up, and just as he opens the cage, Tramp fiercely breaks free from his grasp and rewards him with two loud barks before swiftly running into the crowd. While the dog catcher is busy chasing him, the two stray dogs successfully flee. Tramp starts off his day by playing a game of catching and dodging with the dog catcher. They run through every block and street, engaging in a thrilling chase. In a brief moment of taking a break, Tramp even finds the opportunity to flirt with two domestic dogs, showing off his charm. They soon step upon a tourist carriage, causing a bit of commotion. In the end, Tramp skillfully jumps into another car, once again successfully evading the dog catcher's grasp. As he escapes, he turns back and salutes the man with a respectful and triumphant loud bark, celebrating his victory. Shortly after, Tramp is forced to be dropped off at a wealthy neighborhood where there are no stray dogs at all. He suddenly hears a small female dog named Lady complaining inside the fence. She's saying that her owner's belly is getting bigger, but instead of buying her new toys, the owner hasn't groomed her for a long time. Upon hearing this, Tramp can't help but tell her that once the baby moves in, the dog moves out. Immediately, Lady realizes that the voice doesn't sound right, as she should be talking with her neighboring dog, Trasty. Peering outside, she discovers a mangy, dirty dog she's never seen before. Feeling threatened by the stranger, Lady starts barking, hoping her owner can drive Tramp away. Tramp quickly jumps into the backyard and tries to explain to Lady what's going on. However, Lady barks even louder, which catches the dog catcher's attention, as he has chased Tramp all the way there to catch him. Fearing being caught, Tramp pleads with Lady to cover for him, and in return, he will tell her the truth about the baby. Curious to know the truth, Lady decides to pretend that there's neither a stray dog nor anything happening there. She sits quietly in front of the doghouse, successfully getting rid of the dog catcher. Afterward, Tramp tells Lady that humans can't always keep their loyalty, especially after having a baby in the family, and soon she will be replaced. He suggests that she better start looking out for herself. However, Lady laughs it off and considers it nonsense, feeling irritated by his advice. She kicks Tramp out of the backyard in response. Tramp then steals a dog treat and hastily flees, returning to his harsh reality, where humans once again shoo him away, and no place is willing to take him in. A few months later, Lady's hard-to-believe nightmare comes true as her owner gives birth to a baby. Since the baby's arrival, the couple barely pays any attention to Lady anymore. Most of the time, she sits alone in the house, watching them being happy without her. Lady barks for attention, but she is soon shut outside the door. Seeing her neighboring dogs receive love and attention from their owners only adds to her sadness. What's worse, her barking, which was once useful to alert danger, has now become a nuisance, leading her owner to kick her out of the house. One day, Lady's owners leave their house to visit family, and they call up their aunt to take care of Lady. Lady sees off her owners by the window and is worried that they might never come back. Suddenly, she notices something moving in the basket the woman brings to the house. It turns out she has brought two cats and hopes to replace the dog with them. Apparently, the cats don't fond of Lady either, and they start tearing the couches apart, knocking over all the glassware to the ground. Lady tries to protect her house and report it to the woman, but the woman simply tells her to shut up. The house turns upside down from the cat and dog battle for the next few seconds. Upon hearing the commotion, the woman comes downstairs to check on them and sees Lady accidentally shattering a vase into pieces. Enraged, she immediately takes Lady to a local pet shop, intending to get something to punish her. The woman sees a muzzle and orders the shop owner to put it on Lady. Unable to refuse, the man takes off Lady's name tag, but the dog starts to resist. Chaos ensues, and Lady manages to escape. For the first time, she is left alone in the street without humans, feeling scared and bewildered. 
Lady finds herself pushed to a corner, where a big black stray dog approaches her, accusing her of stealing his food and taking over his place. However, Tramp suddenly appears out of nowhere and tells the stray dog that Lady is a nasty and mad killer with contagious rabies. Understanding that Tramp is doing her a favor to avoid getting bullied, Lady plays along and eventually acts up, scaring the black dog away. Tramp is thrilled because with Lady's acting up, he manages to get free food from the black dog. He also confronts Lady about the baby thing he warned her about before, but Lady bluntly denies it. As she is unwilling to face the bitter truth, Tramp doesn't expose her lie. Instead, he takes Lady to one of his hiding spots, intending to help her get rid of her muzzle. Lady places the muzzle on a groundhog sculpture, and Tramp stands at the back, biting the muzzle strap to loosen it. However, in the process, they both stumble, and Tramp holds onto Lady tightly, acting as a protection pad to shield her from harm. As they look into each other's eyes, a hint of affection seems to arise between them, but Lady pushes Tramp away, feeling embarrassed by the intimate moment. She then bids farewell to Tramp, intending to find her way back home alone. Unexpectedly, Tramp follows her and informs her that the direction she's heading is completely wrong. He takes it upon himself to teach her the rules of surviving as a stray dog. Realizing that Lady, as a home dog, has zero chance of surviving alone on the streets, Tramp decides to escort her back to her family. On their way, Tramp asks Lady why she insists on going back home. Lady confidently declares that the whole thing has been a misunderstanding and that her owners will never abandon her. But Tramp gently reminds her of the reality, since her collar is gone and she's not on a leash. She is no different from being a stray dog, especially in the eyes of that dog catcher, who happens to be around the area again. Tramp explains to her that now that she has joined the stray dog team, they should take the sightseeing route to avoid potentially getting caught. Shortly after, both of them arrive at a touring boat and need to board it to cross the river. Tramp leads Lady to the dock, where the boat is tied across but has a small water gap. In no time, he jumps to the other side and encourages Lady to follow. However, feeling scared, Lady runs away and seeks human help. She pretends to be a pet dog of a rich human and successfully sneaks into the boat. For the first time, Tramp discovers that Lady has something within her, and she is not completely useless and spoiled. The two then spend a lovely day enjoying the breeze and singing on the boat. Later, they come across Tramp's favorite restaurant, where in there the shop owner treats him like a treasure. Unlike the other humans, Lady suggests they go for a try. She finally confesses her worries about whether she still has a home to return to. Upon hearing Lady's worries, Tramp comforts her, assuring her that everything will be alright because he will look out for her. He then takes Lady to the restaurant through his private entrance. Initially, the chef tells Tramp that it's not a good time for the night as the place is crowded and there isn't enough food. However, when he sees Lady hiding behind the bucket, he immediately grows fond of the adorable dog. He tells Tramp that no matter what, he will find them something to eat. Just then, the boss comes to the kitchen and sees Lady. He is thrilled that Tramp, a scruffy stray dog, has found a pretty girlfriend. To celebrate Tramp's newfound love, he sets up a special table for them with candles and breadsticks. He takes out the restaurant menu and helps the dogs select their specials of the night, which are declared to be all sold out. Much to Lady's astonishment, the men come back and play music for them. With such a heartwarming celebration, they enjoy the night together, and their bond of affection grows even stronger. Tramp also takes Lady to his secret place where they can see the entire town view. For the first time, Tramp reveals his secret to Lady. He used to have a place called home with his owners and was loved. However, everything changed when the family welcomed a newborn baby. Tramp was taken to a remote place, and just as he usually fetched his favorite ball, he discovered that his owner had abandoned him and left. After the confession, the two set out on their journey back home. However, the dog catcher appears again, cornering Tramp inside the factory where he usually sleeps. As the man is about to catch him, Lady grabs his attention and helps Tramp escape. Unfortunately, she ends up being caught by the man and is put into a cage. Tramp, from far away, feels terrible for not being able to save her but doesn't dare to make a move because he knows he should stop messing with the dog catcher. Lady is soon brought to the city pound, where many stray dogs look at her fiercely. There, she meets the two dogs whom Tramp had rescued before. Initially, Lady tells them that the reason she ended up being caught is that she helped a friend escape. However, upon hearing this, the other dogs inform her that every dog in the city knows the so-called friend she is talking about. It's Tramp, who is both loved and hated by all dogs and humans because he is selfish towards other dogs while also cunning with humans. Knowing the truth, Lady is heartbroken. However, to her surprise, the next day, her owners arrive at the pound and take her home. It proves to her that her family actually loves her. From that day on, Lady tries her best to adapt to the new baby in the family realizing that she can coexist peacefully instead of fighting to be the center of everyone's attention. On the other hand, Tramp feels down in the dumps as he has been regretting not saving Lady the other day, and life without her feels blue. He is shocked that the dogs he used to laugh at before have also found themselves adopted and finally have a home. In contrast, the two dogs now laugh at him for finally realizing his dream of ending up alone. 
which triggers Tramp to find Lady and apologize for his past actions. Tramp confesses to Lady for his wrongdoings and asks for forgiveness. He also suggests that they leave together, starting a new and free life. However, Lady tells him that it's too late, and she decides to remain loyal and stay with her human family. Knowing he cannot change anything, Tramp sadly leaves, feeling like a stray dog nobody likes. Before entering the house, Lady discovers a rat sneaking into the baby's room. She barks to alert her owner but ends up being locked again in the storage room. Tramp, who is walking away, hears Lady's distant barking and immediately returns. He sneaks into the house again and learns that the baby might be in danger because of the rat. Tramp assures Lady not to worry and decides to rescue the baby despite the danger, even with the dog catcher in the house. He rushes upstairs, trying to catch the rat, but ends up making quite a mess in the room, flipping over the baby's bed. In the last moment, he manages to kill the rat, but the humans arrive and mistake him for intentionally wanting to hurt the baby. The dog catcher once again corners Tramp, finally achieving his dream of successfully catching the notorious dog. Later, when Lady is set free, she discovers that Tramp has been caught and gathers her dog friends to rescue him. Her owners follow after her to figure out what's exactly going on, as Lady is acting strange. She bravely stops the carriage, and Tramp is thrown outside due to the sudden stop, bleeding all over. The dog catcher insists on taking him away, but the owner suddenly realizes that Tramp was only trying to keep their baby safe. At the last moment, the couple decides to adopt Tramp. Feeling loved once again by humans, Tramp cautiously walks towards them. In the end, he finds himself a new home where he doesn't have to worry about being left alone on the streets anymore. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance. Adam.